We're about to get uh, about 15 to 20 centimeters of snow. We're gonna load up the stock summer tires, take them into town and get some winters put on. One. Wipers. Oh. Gonna go get some Saloon winter tires, 225, 45, uh, 18. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and I just noticed the steering is really stiff to turn. Okay. some wipers we're barely we're just sitting at two grand here look at that check engine light that's what happens when you got the cat passenger a b c and d yeah and i have a piece of uh coolant hose from my jet ski plugged onto that so you can actually turn the inside there let me gear down here won't be uh, two-stepping and uh, double-clutching today, folks. Too old for that anyways. Oh, I'm rough on the clutch here today, Steffi. We're not... This puppy isn't warm yet. Temp's just sitting there. I think it's got to go up another tick or two. And then... Add about 10 more minutes to that, and then you should be up to temp. Here's the male lady. She's trying to get her stuff done before the snow gets crazy. We're just gonna skip. Okay, here we are at McGilvery's. A little town uh, here called Little Britain. Pull the e-brake. Go in and find out what he wants me to do with these tires. has been running for about 20 minutes just warming up the oil it's gonna pop the hood nice and warm oh yeah I can I can feel the heat coming off this okay gonna grab a 19 mil socket there's the oil filter down there a mobile one he's put some kilometers on this car or some miles if you're in the States I won't tell you how many but we've gone over a little bit so probably the worst place let's leave the key in there it's a good spot and let's grab my sockets and stuff we're gonna jack up the driver's side of the car because the drain plug on the oil pan is on the passenger side so if we have the car up on an angle it'll drain a little better so let me get this jacked up and uh pull from there okay i've got the e-brake on 
get this in the sweet spot. I do have a roller jack. It doesn't roll too well in frozen gravel driveways though. So just make sure this is level. And get at it. I'll probably put a log of wood. Got lots of that. Behind the back tire. Shove that in. Can we get to the drain pan? It's right there. I think we can get to it. Okay. These don't usually work on uh, RXH. Can't get in there to get the filter off. I do need a drain pan though. So I'm just going to take a razor blade. Lose that and uh, cut this jug in half. Where'd that go? Okay, I popped that 19 mil, it's draining into two little old oil jugs. Got to pop this puppy off, open this for some extra, holy ramity jamity. Okay, take the oil cap off, then we got to get to that oil filter right in there and take that puppy off. Now, in all fairness, this oil filter should be just a little bit overhand tight. I managed to crack it loose, making sure my hands were dry and grippy. So we'll take this puppy out, spill a bunch everywhere, all over the place. Just dump it. Okay, and here we go. Oil filter, what is this? It's a mobile one. Oil filters, if you're in Canada, anything with a 66, Zero seven, we'll do. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand in a snowstorm. We're gonna take out the filter. Just we're gonna get a little oil on our finger and wet this rubber seal right here because when you twist this on and it starts to get tight, if your hand turning it and this is dry, this, this can actually tear or pull out from the filter and then you've got leaks and all that stuff. So we're gonna wet this and thread it on Hopefully you can see to right there. Okay. My finger's wet. Just wiping around here. Unfortunately, you can't fill this filter with oil. Sometimes you can get away with doing that. Um, but this filter actually goes on upside down. So if you even attempt to do it, you're gonna dump oil everywhere. In here without getting stuff all over this filter. Make sure you get this hand tight but tight okay there we go it's on there there we go there we go there we go that's not the oil i'm using by the way but there we go we got one more jug here yeah. stuff looks pretty dark here we go now oh, laying in the snow Get this paper towel. I'm going to go get another these crush washers on here. This is a co copper crush washer. I've got a whole box of those. It's usually good to replace them uh, every time. I mean, if it's not super damaged and you don't have another one, you'll get away with it. Just check for leaks every once in a while or for the first few days. So I'm going to go get another crush washer, crush washer, and I'll be right back. tricky. I'm getting it though. Okay. Now, if you don't have a 19 mil, three quarter will work. Now, I'm going to get this on there. It's a fresh one. You don't want to over tighten it. And that should do. And without spilling, we go to town. Uh, one other thing that's good to do is if you dump the oil too quickly, it'll come up this spout and it can come through this tube and then dump into your throttle body. So it's good just to disconnect that four quarts into this and then go from there.
important thing in the winter, oh, something to check for in the winter, your dipstick. Sometimes you can pull it out and it'll be a little creamy at the top and you'll think, uh-oh, coolant seals. Um, but that's not always the case. They do build up moisture, especially in the winter time. And especially if this rubber seal on your oil fill cap is non-existent or cracked or ripped or whatever, moisture gets in, sits at the top, works its way up the dipstick. So just a couple of things to check for. We got a little ways to go, but I'm going to lower the car so that it's level. And then we can, we can rock from there. Dump a little bit more in there. Let it go down. It's like that, we're pretty good to go here, I think. This will go in the trunk. Back on here, plug this back on there. This plugs into these little white plastic doodads and you pop it down. Here we go. Like that, double, triple check, no tools left on the front here. And close and oil is changed so that's it that's oil change in a snowstorm in january on an rx8 i do have a video coming soon with these uh tires check out the meat on them they're pretty good so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching drive your car